Hello, Devon Wolf, Mystical Drumming, mysticaldrumming.com. The seven stroke roll. Please watch our previous videos we have here for free on how to do the seven stroke, I'm uh, sorry, how to do a roll in general, also how we incorporate the martial arts into the drums and uh, get some of the basics down before you start doing this, please. Okay, so um, when you do the sense of roll, you'll be doing it um, in a, uh, 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 an easier fashion, and uh, you'll pick yourself a lot faster. So a roll, some basses again. Remember, it's, uh, it's, a, it's an allowed bounce. The stick tip and the head of the drum is designed to stroke roll. Why seven strokes? Why is it called seven stroke roll? The name tells you what it is. It has seven strokes. So if we don't play it as a roll doing left hand lead, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're not actually strokes. They are mostly rolls except for the last one. So it's one roll, which is two, another roll, which is four, another roll, which is six, the last one is seven, and I have very bad math. However, music never gets above third grade math, so that's good for people like me who can't do math. Okay, uh, checkbooks and balancing all stuff, eh, not happening. Okay, so I'm gonna drop my ass in the ground way before I get that crap done. Okay, so right hand lead, bounce, bounce, hit, right bounce, left bounce. I'm oh, sorry, I'm doing a five stroke call. Right bounce, left bounce, right bounce, left. Okay, that would be right hand. Now, since we're ending, let's say, with a right lead seven stroke roll with the left hand, do we want to do a right hand lead? If we were to do two seven stroke rolls in a row, two seven stroke rolls in a row? Yeah. Say that a few times, guys. Um, we don't have to start the next seven stroke roll with the right hand. We could do it with the left hand. There are no rudiment police giving out tickets, I assure you. Okay, so we could go to a left hand lead. So or keep them all right hand. to keep fluidity in the seven stroke rolls. So it's you don't accent on the last note. Yes, you will hear that last note. It sounds like an accent, but it's not. It's stick stay even. Da 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 not da. You could accent on the last one. What you're doing is da, 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 snap. Please look at our videos on how to accent properly. Okay? So da, 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 snap. Okay. 
seven stroke roll, five stroke roll, the two most important rolls. Yes, you can do other rolls. Knock yourself out. I find these to be the two most useful rolls in the essential for the rudiments. And I really don't find myself using many other rolls. I mean, it's just, you know, to me, you know, that'll happen naturally. You know, I maybe will roll an entire, I don't know, fill, you know, I'll do an entire roll. That's, that's fine. I have no idea how many strokes it is. We don't care. Um, however, when it comes to direct uh, rudimentary use of rolls, I find the five stroke and seven stroke to be most powerful. So I encourage you to really get these down, the five and the seven. And uh, your drumming will become a lot better, and you'll become a lot better. And uh, yay, you're more happy. Okay, so yeah, here's the happiness. Okay, we'll see you on the next video. We're going to talk about how to use seven stroke roll around the kit. Okay, great guys, you're doing great, awesome.